Line will be able to provide better, faster coverage of news. It may seem to some like just yesterday that he got here. Bill Walker. But for the better part of four decades now, a city and a whole generation have measured their lives by Bill Walker's newscasts. Sharing stories of pain and progress, success and sadness, and marking their own personal milestones with the man they invited into their homes almost every night. I mean, he's family. Bill Walker's family. I'm sorry. He's just been in this household so much, he's family. Sheila Haynes still uses the old rabbit ear antennas on top of her TV. That's all her family had back in the early 70s when she was a high school student thrown into the middle of Charlotte Mecklenburg's struggle with school desegregation, living a part of Charlotte's history that Bill Walker cataloged every night. When Bill told me that the law was passed, that I was going to have to go to white schools, and I was not going to like the situation. I believed him. He tried to make those of us who had to leave our neighborhoods and go into places where we were not wanted. He tried to make that okay. Also a developing story right now. We're Bill probably can't count all of the developing stories he's covered over the years, but as Tina Simmons gathered her three girls in their home outside Salisbury to watch him on the news, some came to mind. The big stories, the ones that have shaped our lives. Um, like the terrorism attacks, you know, that happened in New York when he brought us that. Um, you know, just different events, the Gulf War, you know, when that was going on. It was during the tough times, many told us, that Bill's presence meant the most. Uh, especially the Hurricane Hugo uh, time frame. Mike Falkenberry goes back to September of 1989. If you can see this picture, this devastation, you are one of the lucky people with power tonight. He and thousands of others were without power for a week or more after Hurricane Hugo hit the Charlotte area, but like many, he found a way to stay tuned. We were able to get uh, a battery-operated TV and listen to his reports and of all the other reporters. And uh, again, he did a great job in covering. And after 37 years, the bond between news anchor and audience has at times become very personal. Uh, isn't Bill from the eastern part of the state? Yes, ma'am. I am too. Maybe that's a little connection there. Betty Curlin says it's the human touch that still sets Bill Walker apart. Seems like a good, dependable person who who would be there and help you if he needed to, if you needed him. Come on, there we go. The rabbit ears still work just fine on Sheila Haynes' TV, but she knows that very soon, no amount of tweaking will bring Bill Walker into her home. After 37 years, the camera will finally blink. And still somehow, it'll be okay. I'm, I'm happy for him, I really and truly am, but it's gonna, he's gonna be truly missed. He really is. I'm going, I know I am. I'm going to miss him.